In my last video, I started working on a 3D exploration game. We did some basic story writing and some quick terrain. But in this video, we're gonna make it a hundred times better and something secret at the end of the video. So let's get to work. Before we go further, I wanted to thank you for helping me reach 100 subscribers. Woohoo! Yeah, let's go! In true spirit, I celebrated this with some Carlson vibe. So I got a nice set of textures to make the terrain more interesting. So now it was time to paint the terrain. Now, if you remember the last video, it takes so much goddamn time to make terrain. But painting is much simpler than sculpting, so this should be done pretty quickly. <laughs> I was wrong. It took three goddamn days. The fact that God had the sanity to make the earth with such minute detail is crazy. But I'm sure he had the latest Unity terrain tools while making the universe. So the terrain went from this to this. I added some muddy areas, walkways, and areas for forests and farms. I then also lowered some part of the ground for some nice lakes and ponds. I also made the map a bit bigger and rectangle in shape. I wanted the environment to be a camping ground built within a forest and surrounded by mountains. So I added a nice mountain range and a peak at the far end of the map. This place will be officially called Camp Summershade. There will be more sublocations here, but we'll do that later. Every environment needs to have trees. As Leonardo da Vinci once said, trees are kinda important, bro. They give you oxygen or something, I don't know. Fortunately, my trees are not responsible for keeping the player alive. So let's add some trees. I got four to five variants of trees and customized a few of them to have orange leaves, as I wanted the season to be around the beginning of autumn. Now we need to start placing each tree hand by hand for greater detail. But as a game developer, I felt way too lazy to do it on my own. Thankfully, Unity provides this button, which allows you to mass place all the trees on your terrain. And voila, we now have some nice looking trees. With the help of the painting tool, I then removed the trees from the walkways. And I did the same thing for grass. So the game will have some missions that you have to do every single day. So I coded a mission system, which is fully customizable in the editor. I also set up a nice day and night cycle with custom skyboxes. Surprisingly, this is incredibly easy to do, as you just have to place a light in your scene, mark it as the sun in the lighting settings. Now you can just rotate the light to make your sunrise and sunset. But the scene was still looking kind of bland, so I went to the Unity gods and asked for better graphics. And they gave me post-processing. So I just added some effects like bloom, ambient occlusion, vignette, and motion blur. The scene then went from this to this. The ambient occlusion is an important effect as it calculates and adds shadows to the darker places, making the visuals more realistic. Now the sun just kind of looks like a ball, which it actually is, but it's bad. Anyway, sun generally has some rays coming out of it, but Unity doesn't have a built-in solution for this. So I searched around on GitHub and found these volumetric lights by Slightly Mad. Thank you, Slightly Mad, you are epic. So I added these lights and here's the result. It looks so much better and more cinematic. Okay, so the game is coming together pretty nicely, but there are still three major tasks to finish. Making all the missions for the game, writing the storyline, and of course, deciding the name of the game. Now for the name of the game, I already have a choice in mind. And just for fun, I'll even show the name on screen blurred out right now. Let's see if you can guess the name in the comments. I'll reveal the title in the next devlog. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. You'll get notified about the new one. See ya.